So we are we are live now. I am with comrade Gabriel from the Polish Workers Party, <laughs> and today we will talk about the very interesting subject because all the time we have the pandemic of the COVID-19, and we will speak about the healthcare in socialist countries. So, firstly, uh, could you present what do you think? What is the most the biggest problem of the capitalist healthcare in Poland in the last uh, after after contrevolution of the, the fall of the socialism in Poland well it's hard to trust just one uh, from the uh, from the poor uh, from the poor um, I'm sorry I get I'm getting distracted here uh, from the poor uh, uh, what's the word here? Uh, access from the poor access to uh, to doctors, to uh, uh, the long lines that people have to wait in, uh, cancer patients that need that, that need treatments right now are waiting in fucking lines, uh, the shortage of uh, medication, uh, the issues with uh, having them. Um, Covered by the uh, healthcare, uh, the NFZ um, is just everything. W what's wrong with it? Everything, literally everything. There's like nothing that is okay with it. Everything is falling apart. <laughs> Okay, I, I will help you. Uh, maybe we will discuss a little bit about this. Right. So in Poland, uh, I am I am in position that. Poland was the socialist country, and one of the uh, one of the things which uh, Polish population, the Polish workers, gained in the socialism, it was healthcare, which was uh, accessible for all um, everybody. And healthcare, it is one of the most important things for the society. If we look the ancient society, uh, we see that uh, somebody who is ill, he he died. And uh, it uh, uh, it is not uh, not. Uh, uh, for example, when we look at the, at the Bible, the the Je Jesus when he wanted to 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 show everybody that he is the son of the god he he showed that he can heal ill person that somebody something who is ill and he he don't uh, have access to the health care uh, he has two po possibilities he will die or he will uh, he will meet the son of the god and the son of the god will uh, touch him and recover his 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 health so before 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 capitalism or before before socialism the the people uh, the experience of the the week how many li how many uh, how long people lived was very very short in 19th century the most of workers are uh, are living 25 30 years and after they they died they died very very early so it is one of the most important thing for the humanity building the accessible for all the, all, all the people healthcare uh, and the the progress we see in in one in one generation that before before socialism people lived uh, short and after with all these uh, all these hospitals all these uh, medicines uh, and all this people started to live more than uh, s s 60 years 70 years 80 years in the richest capitalist countries so in Poland, everything was good. Of course, uh, Pol Poland was the was poor country, was poorer than the capitalist one. But everybody, every worker, every Pol have access to 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 hospitals. And the most important uh, reform of the contrevolution was to 
make the commodidation, how to say that? Accommodation. No, that's uh, the marketization, marketization of the of the healthcare. That when you are ill, you go to hospital, and firstly, you, they ask you, "Do you have money?" Because if you don't have money, we made something basic things, and go home and wait. When and it is the most important difference for because this is the difference between Poland and the third world countries that in third world countries they didn't exist the, this healthcare service in Poland we had we had this we had this and we had also the all these universities with the with the many thousands of Poles who was uh, educated in the medicines, in the nursery, in the other stuff like this. But when they, uh, when in capitalism, they started to tell everybody that the most important for you, it is money. And if you are not uh, uh, agree with the small, small wages in Poland, you can emigrate. Uh, I think that it was in the time of the civic, civic platform. They said, oh, if you don't like Poland, go out, go out and search, uh, search uh, lo uh, another job in Germany, in Norway. They in did. Ah, yes, yes, they did. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so it is why, uh, because when, 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 when you are a tourist, you came to Warsaw and you see, yes, there are hospitals, they are universities uh, who make the medicines and uh, the, the quality of the, the learning of the Polish University for Medicine are, are good. I am not specialist, but I think that are not good big difference between the, the universities in Poland and universities in, in other countries. But the problem is that the people who are the, 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 the they, for example, for example, uh, how to say, ratownik, uh, ratownik resident. Mm. Oh my God. Uh, the guy who, who is in the, in Inter. the, intern? Intern. Yes, uh, they, they earn 2000, uh, 300 zlotes. It is uh, it is 500 it is 500 euros, and uh, and uh, the the prices of living, for example, in Warsaw, if you want to rent a house, it is something like this. Uh, so it's impossible for these people, and especially in the time of the uh, epidemic. Yes, yes, because I, I show one time a documentary about about these people. And he said, because I am working with people uh, ill, the coronavirus, I need in my house to have uh, a room especially for me. I can't have contact with my family because I can have uh, coronavirus. So uh, so it is impossible. We, when you live in the one uh, apartment with one room. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, 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 listen to me, we have to speak one hour and you, oh. s you speak only one minute. So <laughs> ma ma <laughs> make effort. It's, it's no problem our English. Uh, so it is the problem of our listeners, not us. Yeah, that's true. Uh, well, uh, yes, all of that, all, all, all of what you said is true. I, uh, yeah, I left out some of the things that you, that you said, and that's definitely the, the, the problem as well. Uh, all of those things. Um, uh, I would like to comment on the thing that that you that you said about um, about the quality of learning. Uh, I have like a few friends that are uh, learning medicine uh, or have learned medicine, like they, they already have a degree. Um, they complain a lot about the professors 
about how uh, there has been like this uh, quite loud scandal about uh, professors um, downgrading uh, students for no reason, like for no reason. Uh, uh, like this conversation between professors have been leaked, how they talk uh, between each other and how they uh, fail students that have passed exams for no reason. Uh, I think some of them have been fired. Uh, I, I mean, it's kind of anag- uh, anecdotal, but all of them say that it, they feel like this is happening everywhere. Like uh, the, the, uh, uh, the quality of the um, learning is not the issue. It's just like the professors for some reason have like, I don't know, like a, it, it's, it almost sounds like they have like a quota to fail and they, I don't know, it sounds like, a, like they get something out of it from the universe. I don't know, like it makes, I don't know, it's anecdotal, but it's just like a comment that I thought um, has to do with this topic. Uh, what is Yes, and it is one, uh, if they want uh, want to fail the students, they are afraid of the competition. And because if there are more people with the diploma, there is the competition in the market and the prices are going down. So it is one of the reasons why the capitalist healthcare is not good for the people in uh, in the f- workers because uh, because uh, the 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 uh, the medicines with diploma today they are the f- like uh, feudal caste they are the aristocracy they uh, they they knew that uh, if you have the problem with uh, with how to say dent Thief. Ah, thief, thief. Dent, <laughs> c'est en, en français. En français. Mm-hmm. C'est pourquoi c'est dentiste. Non, <laughs> no, bro. Uh, c'est uh, thief. Oh, thief, yes. Mm. So, if you have problem with thief, you will not wait uh, uh, two years to... <laughs> to uh, everybody which I knew go yeah. with, with thief in private. In theory, yeah, it even if you go, even if you go to to like to to the to the NFZ uh, dentist, they have like literally three things that are free. The rest of it you still have to pay for. So like, what's what's the point of having even like dentists that are for that are on NFZ when you cannot have any of the services for free? Makes no sense. I can exp- I can say how it is uh, uh, how it is in French. I mean, yeah, I yeah, I get it like I get it how like it does make sense in like the capital world, but it's just you know, for us hmm. it just Yes, yes. Uh, I I would like to say how it is work in French in France. Mm. So uh, so the um, dentist dentist how, how you mm-hmm. the dentist yeah, dentist uh, um the things which he which he made, it is divided for two things. One, it is basic things, and other, it is aesthetic. So it is a list of the 100 things w- which are necessary and which are not necessary. And uh, I had uh, I I was uh, visited Van dentist three times. And every time I paid uh, 80 euros, so it is big money. But after, because it was the uh, things necessary, after I was the they the security social give, give me uh, half of this, and uh, mutual give me another. So I paid only fif- uh, 15 euros for every visit. You know, mm-hmm. not 80, but 15. 15 is cheaper, much cheaper than in Poland. 
because mm-hmm. in Poland, I, I, I don't know, you have to pay minimum 150 zlotys in Warsaw. Yeah, depending on what you want to get. Yeah. Yes, yes, and uh, I, 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 may, I, I was there three times, and every time they so, um, and uh, my my wife when she was the, she was pregnant, uh, after after f- f- three months, in three months they made uh, the examin, and after they f- when it's all things is officially that my fi- that wife is pregnant that there is there is a baby in, in or fetus in, in inside everything in france was free every visit uh, to the doctor every um, every things in the pharmacy was free oh. so good system but of course uh, it is uh, it is um, mm, it is a, a little more complicated why they of course it is it, it was the security social was created in 1945 by the uh, by the uh, secretary of the communist party of french uh, maurice torres it was the first uh, government uh, after the Second World War, and he created Security Social. But uh, after fall of the Soviet Union, they started to privatize. But they they are all the time uh, things which are arrested, and I think that it is also because French it is big producers of the medicines uh, stuff like this and uh, it's it, it is uh, they can produce uh, made in france and after give it the uh, give it uh, cheap to the french population i think that it is why they don't don't uh, liquidate it uh, okay so we can we can shortly say that polish capitalist system ah I forget one thing that we have one one um, one guy which name is Jurek Ovshak and <laughs> and and uh, yeah. he 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 is uh, the guy who uh, in the beginning of the counter revolution in Poland he started uh, started to 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 create new ideology new religion that everything which is public it's not working good so we have to make the caritative and every every year in January he organized uh, the concert and he he take money from the people that the, they are young 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 children in the in the streets in the Poland and they bagger for you know, bagger beggar 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 yes yeah. beg for the money the celebrities give something and in the auction and it is like religion in Poland that it is one one uh, uh, and I yeah. think I think that it is also very damaging for the public service because it is the religion that it is not working, it is not efficacious. So the private people have to beggar in the street to to help. Yeah, basically. Uh, so like the foundation uh, uh, has had some like very. Um, troublesome issues they have like a bankruptcy i think uh filed or something uh he he literally he's uh, he's uh, literally like claiming that his uh work is um which is supposedly like this uh heritative like uh, thing it's like damaging his uh, finances uh which is funny because from the uh, um from the yearly uh, report that they publish 
uh, it says that he uh, gets like around uh, six grand a month. So like how, <laughs> you know, it doesn't add up. Like how can you have back bankruptcy when you are getting like around six grand uh, a month? Like that doesn't that doesn't sound like a bankruptcy. That sounds like pretty like um, cozy living somewhere in the middle of Warsaw. Like, yeah. Yes, yes, but he created. Uh, uh, I think that every every person who organizes a big uh, charitative institution, he's corrupted. He he stole the money, and it is not the problem with Ofshak that he stole some money. The problem is that. He is like parasite, virus. He, he, he said to, to the population, listen to me, uh, this public service don't work. It is me who who help this because if if I not exist, it will everybody everything will be collapse uh, to the uh, to tomorrow. And um, he uh, in the pop. That's true, and I want to interject. Uh, mm -hmm. Like the all of the hospitals that he gets like the equipment to lose funding because of it. Yes, so, and, and he, yeah. he he's more concentrated to giving uh, giving the machines or stuff like this, which yeah. he yes yes yes. But uh, <laughs> when you go to hospital in every hospital in Poland now, the, there is something that it was given by Jurek Ovšak and Wielka Orkiestra Świątecznej Pomocy. It is uh, it is uh, I I I gave you this, but in the sa same time he is against to to make bigger the salaries of the people who work in this hospital. Uh, when the nurse, nurseries are uh, striking for the better condition of work, uh, but better, better wages, he, no, 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 uh, you are lazy, you have to work. And I, so. Um, <laughs> very anti, uh, very uh, anti-work anti-worker type of a person he's i don't <sighs> oh my god uh he is like very funny person <laughs> uh, no 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 he, he, he's not funny he was funny no, he no. was funny when he worked in television but because he was celebrities but now he, he something somebody who is funny when he when you when you attack him in the me media he will he will laugh about this now he 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 make himself the, the god in Poland that you can't attack me you can't critique me if you critique me you will go to the tribunal I, I will make you accusation he, he, yeah, yeah. He, he, and every time they, they said in Poland we have liberty of the press uh, freedom of press uh, we have uh, freedom of speech everybody can say what he wants but if you uh, say if you critique Ofshak publicly and uh, oh no 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 it, it, it's forbidden it's forbidden uh, because uh, so now we have uh, epidemic covid-19 poland is the worst the worst country um, in in europe now uh, every every and day second second worst per capita as i remember something like that uh, yes yes but um, I, I in the beginning of the in the beginning of the epidemic one year ago Poland had to uh, makes quite good quite good to, uh, there are no many no many people ill no many people who died it is now when Poland started to be the leader of the Europe uh, every day 500 people died because of COVID-19 every day we have uh, 20 30 thousand people new who are ill so now we are the champion uh, the champion of, of, of Europe of course uh, we are not proud of this and uh, mm, and the thing which is important which show 
they uh, show the catastrophe of the Polish uh, Polish society that that there are in 2020 the Polish population are mm, sm smaller of 100 50,000 people who died not because of COVID but because of other things which uh, normally they can be recovered but because the Polish health service is not working they, they died. I know one, one person who like this she is in the she was in the uh, uh, family of my, my, my wife she was ill, she has uh, 70 years old, of course, 70. She was ill, but it, it was not something very, very grave. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and uh, uh, in the time when she was in hospital, nobody from ha family of my wife can visit her. And after she, she died like this and and uh, i think that it is one of the victim of the of the catastrophe of the healthcare service in poland in capitalist poland yeah absolutely i agree uh, so first of all this is like the incompetence of the government that they uh, refuse to uh, make more strict demands on the population uh, and put like just mo more restrictions on society and the second one is uh, the lack of doctors and the lack of general like um, uh, medical personnel that we are declining in the numbers of uh, working actively working doctors in Poland even though we produce uh, more and more from what I from what I've seen uh, doctors and medical and other medical personnel they are going away w to work in the West mostly <coughs> yes. and uh, yeah. uh, yes I want to say one paradox because I, um, sorry but I will forget that in socialist Poland, the Pol people, the Poles were educated in the Polish universities, but not only Poles. They are also the people from Africa, the students from Africa who came to Poland. They can learning, and after uh, they can go back to their countries and uh, and uh, make all this service, medical and, and engineering, and this. Now. Uh, you see this tragedy that before before the counter revolution we our society was cap capable not only to to learning our our professors by our needs, yes yeah, but also yeah provide to other people yeah absolutely and now That's how it is yes yeah no go ahead no 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 i <laughs> you, your english is better uh, uh, oh, I forgot what I wanted to say. Um, and um, yeah, and it's just uh, the this is the failing of uh, one of the many, many uh, like countless uh, failings of capitalism that uh, it cannot provide with the basic needs uh, that the society needs. Socialism mm. can <laughs> like mm. it's just. I can I I can say that uh, one mm, that I, I found one uh, seat internet uh, of the society who are working in Poland in Gdańsk and it is society who are sending the uh, nurse, nurses to Norway and they uh, say that we will teach you no Norwegian language. We will provide you how to take job there. We, you have to uh, make have a diploma of the nurse, and you have to sign the contract that if you started to learning Nor Norway language with us, 
you have to work there minimum two years two years and in these two years you are learning uh, working a lot because because it is 48 hours a week it is it is uh, but you will make your your salary was in will started if with 15 thousand zlotes it started and it will be growing so 15,000 slot uh, <laughs> yes wow <laughs> uh, 15,000 slotes and the uh, nurse nurse in Poland are um, earning maybe 2000 uh, two, two thousand and half so mm -hmm. the difference is is six more difference and and uh, uh, and they also say that uh, after after four months of uh, learning l this language with, with them after four months you are capa capable to, to work there so you invest four months you have diploma of nurse and you are earning money six times more than in Poland mm -hmm. that is it, that's interesting because I see the parallel between that and the situation in Cuba. That is the reason why a lot of Cuban uh, doctors defect from Cuba and go abroad, mainly to US, because there are uh, like uh, specific uh, institutions that are telling them like we will provide you with literally everything you will ask us uh, with food, clothing, place to stay, uh, education if you need to, for free if you just defect, uh, not even education, because um, uh, they already have education, it's the permit, the permit. Um, and then uh, if you go, uh, you will earn money uh, and it's just um, um, I'm sorry uh, it's um okay I will help you that uh, <laughs> that uh, uh, the difference dif difference between United States and Cuba is the great difference because in Cuba the the stu the learning of medicine is totally free is is this the, the cheapest one in the world and in the united states it is the uh, the most expensive in the world so it is a lot of difference but you know that the comparison with this situation are similar but also not similar because if we compare uh, Nor norway to poland we can say that of course norway is the capitalist country like poland but norway is the welfare state country which are uh, is better for the working class uh, for the citizen of the of the norway that that poles uh, so mm, in in the in the example of of cuban medicine you, you you have the people who go out from the socialist society to capitalist society and in po example of poland you have people who who go out from the capitalist country uh, after the, all these neoliberal reforms uh, which destroyed the society and they try to, f to search a job in the countries also capitalist with a little social uh, mm -hmm. good things which, which rest... Uh, yes. Yes, I made the comparison only b based on the fact of like how much they uh, the salary is, like how high it is. Like it is also the an astronomical difference between uh, between how, what they get in Cuba and what they would get if they defect. Um, they are literally like rewarded from. Uh, uh, for uh, defecting to the US uh, and a lot of people do fall for that uh, and there are like there's this one institution specifically uh, that is um, founded by the people who defected and it's for the people who defected that it's like 
they promote this idea that uh, it's good, you're gonna get money, and it's that, that that's like the their whole um, point. Like they don't really have anything else. They just like you will earn money. That's the only thing that they care about. Yes, but this compar when we speak about Cuba, we don't have to take serious these uh, uh, prices in dollar because uh, if you only think about the dollar in Cuba in your in your mind you will say that it is one of the poorest country in the world and it is not true the difference between Cuba and Poland is that the the prices in Norway and Poland are similar and when you go from Poland to Norway, two countries which are the similar prices, but the, the salaries are bigger in Norway, you see the difference uh, in first day. In Cuba, when, we, when uh, one thing which we take it is the salaries in dollar, we say, oh, they are very, very poor. But after we see that nobody in Cuba are uh, homeless. Uh, they have houses, houses with. Uh, and it, it, it is not the small houses like in Warsaw, uh, ten, uh, nine, nine meters square. Uh, they now they building the houses like this in in Poland. N n only nine meter. Uh, no, the, 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 this, this is the houses uh, uh, near the sea, and it is. Uh, it is uh, they have other things which are free or almost free uh, so uh, uh, so of course uh, and also in 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 cuba you have uh, two different uh, money you have the dollar or no no it is not dollar it is peso convertible to dollar uh, you, you have you have you have you have peso convertible to dollar and you have peso not convertible to dollar uh, i don't know how this work uh, because it's 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 complicated but i know that that if you are uh, um, that, that nobody in cuba starve because uh, I don't know when they say that oh the the medicine in Cuba earn uh, one hundred dollars or two hundred dollars. You think oh, how it is no, possible? Yes. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, let's. Uh, uh, sorry that uh, all the time I interrupt, but I I made it when oh, when when you when you are blocking and you don't. Yes. 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 Uh, yes. Uh, oh, I want to interject about like the difference. The the prices in Norway are not comparable, really. Uh, from what I've seen the last time I've been there, like the bread costs like five times that it is when it's converted to Polish, uh, to Polish money. Like it's uh, the like everything is every everything that I've seen is uh, is more expensive than in Poland so I will interject on that but the rest uh, the rest of it yeah I agree and uh, yeah <laughs> you say I didn't I, I, I have didn't been in in um, in Norway but I am living in France and um, I am li living in re region Parisian and every week uh, I made my uh, my courses courses I go to shop no how to say yeah courses uh, courses uh, I make I, I make my courses in Lidl Lidl uh, Lidl is cheap uh, how <laughs> And uh, and uh, the things which I buy them, the the prices are the same when I go to Warsaw and go to maybe not for Lidl but uh, other mag other shop, and I don't see a difference in the prices. Maybe uh, I see the difference between my 
my little which is uh, in the I can say that it is the the region it is the quarter of the of the working people and if I go to Paris uh, there is the difference but between my uh, in the, this place which when every week I, I made the courses and in Poland not big difference so it's uh, and there are many things which are cheaper uh, cheaper here than in Poland uh, not not very cheaper but uh, mm -hmm. but uh, I can uh, for example the bottle of wine the the bottle of beer uh, that you can buy here beer for uh, maybe it is not the beer the best quality but you can buy beer for 50 50 cents 50 cents so it is I don't know two slot no maybe it is the the, the same prices which is in Poland but uh, I the baguette you can buy Suasant no 60 60 cent 60 cent it is well two slot uh, and no okay okay it is the same it is the same that in Poland mm -hmm. uh, Mm, but uh, it is not five uh, five times more than 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 Norway. But 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 of course the the Norway the quality of living in Norway is better than in France today. Than France today, it's it is the people of it is the country of great contrast. It is the one of the country which in the time of the epidemic was the bigger contrast between the rich richest people in France for example Bernard Arnault he, he is he is the the richest French and also he is the the third people in the world he is the third people in the world it is only Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos who are who have mo more money than he than him and he was he, he is the tro uh, third one we, uh, he, 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 he is the, he, he possessed these uh, uh, things uh, the, mm, for the, for the rich ladies, uh, the looks, the uh, perfumes, uh, the in Champs Elysees. Oh. Uh, it is the. Uh, mm, when you see this uh, this perfume in in French, uh, the half of this it's him that he possessed, and also this torebki uh, luxusowe torebki how to sack, no but sack, how to say sack it is in French oh okay uh, handbags handbags yes handbag uh, for twenty thousand euro. Uh, <laughs> which are pro which are uh, uh, yeah. yes and uh, which are produced in Romania. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and after you can ask your question how many uh, how many days the the woman from Romania who produced this have to uh, take salaries of uh, 400 euros to make to 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 buy this uh, handbag for uh, 20000 euros um, okay so it's uh, we see that uh, capitalism is bad cuba is better tell me because because we are in the polish workers party what Polish Workers Party wants to change? Want to if we t when we take power in Poland, what will be changed? Well, uh, I will say that I think mm. uh, maybe. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe uh, we have to start that we are in the now we are working to the program that we are democratic institution that we are yes. so t tell something about this 
Yes, so we are working on the program. Uh, we uh, are talking about the healthcare uh, system a lot on one of the uh, commissions. Uh, uh, one of the subjects that you actually brought up uh, during the commission that you were, uh, that you crashed actually, <laughs> uh, uh, that uh, uh, that we've talked uh, during is uh, I would like and it has been um, unanimously passed uh, that we will uh, uh, first of all put the medicine as a subject in school for everybody um, Another thing that oh, it, uh, when wa I when I was young, there are nursery in the Polish school. I remember this. And uh, when I was uh, I don't know ten years old, the, it was the one room uh, only for the n nursery, and uh, she uh, we. I, I know that it, it was it, it, it was exist uh, in the time. N n I, yeah. I I started my education in 1889, so it was the last year of the socialism. But mm -hmm. uh, many good things are staying uh, in time of my education. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I do remember that uh, the nurseries were there when I was in school. Uh, from what I hear, there are less and less of them uh, everywhere uh, but especially in the, like the schools that are in outside of cities mm. uh, I do not remember though uh, like you know we have like classes like uh, chemistry classes like biology classes like geography f physics uh, there are some basic things that we need from those subjects for like the general understanding of the of reality and, and of the world but a lot <coughs> of it is just like memory um memory work that we will just uh, learn just to pass an exam and then forget about it mm. and i think uh, just to make it uh, to make the education system um smart to make education system have some sense and uh, prepare you as it should for uh, your adult life we should know basic things about medicine ourselves um and i would think that would be the start um one of the other things that that came to my mind during this live is that I would uh, propose um, the uh, the contract that people uh, sign in uh, when they start uh, medical school is that they have to work for a, a particular a period of time in Poland uh, to like keep them from going away. <laughs> Because that's, uh, that's a big problem that I think can be curbed this way. Yes. Yes, but you know, for this, when you, uh, for this, we need to go out from the European Union. Because when we are in the European Union and the prices and we have uh, the the market uh, for all Europe together we are together and only and only we for, forbidden the people to emigrate um, and uh, w Poland will still be d depend the the economy from from European countries uh, it was the reason p why the people are emigrated. People are emigrated not because they hate Poles, they hate Poland, they don't want to live in Poland. They emigrated because the the salaries in Poland are are 
I don't want to say smaller because smaller it is different is small difference the salaries in Poland you you can't you can't live normal with this salary uh, people who when I was in po <coughs> when I was in Poland I was working in library but <coughs> I have to work in other places because I can't uh, with my salary uh, vi uh, vive, uh, live normally I, I, I um, looking for other jobs for the weekend it is um, so people uh, who who are in this situation that every time he are thinking about uh, looking for a job looking for a money he don't have time to to himself to to uh, 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 how to rest. say rest yes to, 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 to rest it is the uh, um, the and also and also the problem is that when people starting to emigrate it these people who who are uh, now in Poland the the the, con the condition of work are terrible that there are there is one nurse for I, I don't know how many patient but it is impossible all the time with this pressure that these people can can die that they have to they she needs to help them but she is tired she she is in the depression uh, and it's it's not only the the question of money money yes but also that they work all the time they are tired mm -hmm. and they say that they know that they can emigrate to other countries and they started to of course they will work hard because this this work in norway is hard but uh, they it's uh, it's uh, it's this hard work in Norway is better than hard work in Poland I think so I, I think that yes it's it's good idea but good idea in the condition that we uh, started to the Polish government started to control the economic life in Poland because if not if we are totally dependent the the the, uh, the commission of uh, european commission and uh, we have the big uh, the expensive standard of living and uh, smaller uh, salaries the nobody stay <laughs> you can you, they can sign, uh, sign contract but they will go mm -hmm and maybe you can if if uh, if you emigrated we take off your things which you possess and i don't possess nothing you can take this i don't uh, i don't care <laughs> so so for, for example it was my situation i i I don't possess man. I, I, uh, uh, of course, I, I possess. Uh, I, I, uh, I had. I have uh, books which are in, in. in I, mm -hmm. there are in Poland in my mother house, but uh, other things are not, uh, not, not very. Uh, and this book also, I, 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 I have for, for free, uh, from from the trash bin. It was the mm -hmm. the Marxist book, which uh, which was <laughs> well, you know. But uh, for for me, it's it's uh, it's for example the capital of Marx. Uh, you, on Allegro, on Allegro, you can find this for one hundred slot, and I ha I take yeah. it from free from the trash bin and or uh, from bibliotheque uh, where I w I w was mm -hmm. uh, w when I w when where I worked uh, they you won't take this yes i want i want uh, every week I, I i take something so in this time 
I make collection of books for me, for my brother, for other comrades. I, it was the industry that I, all the time I, am, I, I was taking this, this Marxist books and and okay. What do you? What about the private clinic? Oh, what, what about it? <laughs> It's a uh, it's a total waste of uh, waste of space. Uh, it's over um, it's overpriced. Uh, these doctors uh, a lot of the times are uh, have like double contracts. They have a contracts with the NFZ, but then you come in and they tell you like this this thing specific thing that you need from this doctor it's unavailable it's, it's unavailable on nfz you can go to the same doctor uh like to the next building they have like this private cl clinic they you can have it there but you gotta pay for it uh and it's the same doctor you know like they so the, the this is the same person supposedly works in both places but it's only one that gets all of this doctor's attention mm. and there are like some like we touched on it before like uh, the dentist uh, it's a whole industry that is privatized almost 100 mm. percent so yeah it's an issue and we need to nationalize nationalize it immediately yes i think that also is important the moral question that i think mm. that it is immoral the situation that there are people with privilege that they can yeah. live yeah, for, for for example today we have the uh, how to say pogrzeb Funeral. funeral of this parasite in the oh. in, in the Britain. When you don't work, when you are parasite, you can live 100 years, and because you have nothing, you do nothing, and you you have the, the access for the best uh, best uh, medical service in the world. I think that uh, and this uh, this wife uh, Elizabeth uh, Elizabeth will be live longer uh, 120 years maybe because she didn't work one day in her life mm -hmm. she is uh, and also the uh, all these people in this family <laughs> one people who who are working in this family what is Megan and they kicked uh, they, they yes, kick their they, <laughs> yes yes because she she uh, she she know what is work uh, and uh, and uh, for me it is immoral that the people who works all their life in 60 70 years they started to have be very very ill and they died mm -hmm. and the people from the other class they are living 90 years 100 years and in this in this example we see this uh, this division of the class that it is immoral because because uh, we have people who are suffering they are uh, they are condemning to the death and they are others uh, and uh, and when for example uh, now we have uh, this robert lewandowski he he's blessed uh, he's blessing in the in the match of the football and every people talk about this in 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 in, in, Fra in, in, pa in france they they talked about this because mm -hmm. paris saint germain uh, have to uh, match with bayern munich and they uh, they they were they were very happy that lewandowski is uh, is blessed but 
every people talk about that younger man footballer is blessing and in two or three weeks he will recover because he, he has the the best medicine in the world he make everything that we he can uh, running and uh, but other people who are who are poor they have to wait years years for the operations like this years or um, there are people who will never uh, uh, nigdy tego nie dostaną they will, yeah they will never get it they will never get it yeah. and and we so, like yeah. this so it is for me it is i prefer society when when there is epidemic that everybody die then the society when they are people that 90 percent of poor are dying and one parasite will, will survive no, no 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 i prefer equality equality in the in the poverty not uh, not the society like this and uh, and what about um, how do you want to um, Uh, because we want to make the healthcare service better for the working people. Yeah. So, where we uh, it costs money. So, how we we have to find this money? How will we find money? We will. Uh, We'll take it from Bezos and Lewandowski. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, like we will. Um, what's the word? I'm looking for the word. Uh, tax. Oh, there we go. Uh, tax uh, the rich. Tax the church. Uh, take uh, all of the private properties and nationalize them. Uh, we will nationalize all of the uh, medical. Um, facilities, all of the medical industries. Um, I would say we should also um, have our own uh, pharmaceutical companies uh, so we do not have to depend on um, on other places to provide us it with. Um, to provide us with it. Um, And yeah, do something that resembles uh, the uh, the state of um, medical equality in Cuba, where you know, like there are these doctors. Like for every village, they have uh, less than uh, than uh, uh, than 150 patients for one doctor. I think um, I think that's right. Um, and they, you know, like they have like once or twice a week, they go through the whole village, they check on everybody, literally everybody. Uh, they uh, check not only for the diseases that they already have and the checkups for, for those things, they check th th the, the uh, Cuban system is prevention first. Mm. So this is also what we uh, should strive for, so that we don't have to deal with the disease. We can start with prevention. You know, I am for the taxing for the rich, but mm. it is temporary solution. I prefer the solution that uh, not tax the rich. I, it's better the the take the mean of the production of the rich and uh, like this we can eliminate the rich oh, yeah, so that. so but it, because if you only tax them they will try to find the they solution find a way. yes yeah. yes mm -hmm. uh, and it is the it is the uh, history of the western social uh, crisis of the western countries social democracy that they started to tax the corporation but corporations started to go out to the paradise uh, the fiscal paradise and uh, mm -hmm. and so it's not working if you we don't have to 
it is forbidden for me to have the confidence for the for the rich. Uh, so uh, we don't have to. Uh, it's we don't uh, we don't have to trust them. We need to because they are in Poland. I don't know in other capitalist countries, but in Poland, the the rich there are. This is the people. Uh, the capitalism in Poland starting in the mafia waste the ca style that in 1990s it was the gangster the mafia who are the people uh, they are taking the factories for free they are it was the war of the gang uh, and they are no and people now who are rich this is the people who are criminals not criminals only because i said that uh, if you are rich you are criminal no 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 they are criminals because in 1990s they are they stole the people they kill the people and now because they they are wearing suits and uh, they are the people uh, responsible elite of the our society no 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 we need to make the 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 use use the police to check all these things like the Yolanta Brzeska, for example, that uh, mm -hmm. you have the people uh, like Trzaskowski, he is the uh, handsome guy with other people who help him uh, and he, what? he started his political career in this Warsaw governed by the Hanna Gronkiewicz Waltz and it was the time when they killing the people they killing people to take their property, they, to take the, their houses. And if somebody was uh, not uh, agree with them, in the middle of the January, when it was cold, they are uh, ending the support of the chauffage, the, the hot, uh, hot system, the electricity, the gas. People are living in the... In the in, and uh, they are the gangster who can go to the house of the uh, elderly woman open the door take the uh, things out uh, take this woman out and it is like this how they build this money mm -hmm. so this is it's happening to this day it's happening to this day like um yeah yeah it's just mm. We've had an intervention this year, like last month, I think, uh, with uh, with an issue like this, uh, with another on organization that uh, uh, we stopped the eviction of this woman uh, who was uh, th like they charged uh, they charged her for like something. Uh, that she she has proof that never happened uh, to it was some lease on the on the on the flat or something and it's she she has proof that it's uh, th that it's not uh, that it's fake uh, but they tried to force her uh, physically out and uh, uh, yeah, and uh, she is she is uh, safe, and uh, she's staying uh, in her house still. We are checking up on her, and uh, yeah, I yeah, it's not finished yet because there is like a uh, uh, civil suit going on. Um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, I think that our conversation was, it was my first English, English language conversation. Ah, no, not first, it, was, it is the second, second. It was also the comrade Peter. Uh, so we have to continue this to inform the, the, the because the co communist movement is based in the internationalism and we have to show that uh, that uh, we are not only people who are concerned about Poland, Poland but we sh we are looking for the contact from the 
other leftists, other Marxists, other communists from other world. And um, so thank you very much for this. And uh, now I, I will finish.